Welcome back to So You Think You Can Dance. It's the final day of auditions here in the Bay Area. And since arriving, we've seen all types of dance. From the good... Nice. ...to the bad. If you think, though, it's going to be balance a sword on your head. It really oh shouldn't fall off. And the bugly. My signature move is called the insect. If they ever, ever do The Exorcist the musical, you're in, kid, I'm telling you. But there was one dance style that originated right here in Oakland. Turfing. Turf dancing is an acronym. It's taking a room on the floor. It's from Oakland, California. It came up in the mid-90s, like 95, so like 15 years strong. Why do you think people are so into it? Um, it's, it's the music. I it, think it's the beat. Turf dancer I Dummy took us through the basics. When you see turfing, there are four key points that you must know. Swagger is when you add your own finesse on it, you know. Feet work is when you make it look like you're gliding on ice. Pantomime, where um, you make it look like something's there. Storytelling. You tell a story with your dancing. If you know those four concepts, you know what turfing is. And cue music. Honestly, got to compliment you kids and say you've taken this and you're doing sort of new things with it and it's very exciting uh, whether I like it as a visual thing I, to be frank I think I'm gonna have nightmares tonight <laughs> <laughs> but to do what you've done I'm so impressed I like your musicality there yeah, as thank well. You. I think you were dancing well at the beginning of it before you went into the complete contortionism <laughs> Uh, but your gliding coming on oh, was yeah. superb, mm -hmm. beautiful. Thank you. It's amazing. It was like watching a feather floating on water. It's like you weigh nothing when you glide on. It's incredible to watch. Uh, the only thing that's a tiny bit lacking for me is the performance aspect. I don't know if you're just concentrating so hard on not dislocating yourself for good that, you know, you just forget this part. But that's the only thing that's lacking. Everything else is phenomenal. Thank you. Yeah, kind of spectacular. Yeah. Kind of filthy and spectacular, <laughs> for sure. So, yes for me. I, I, I say yes too. Yeah. I just worry it's going to be tough. Right. Right. Yeah. Just get your head together because I think it's going to be tough for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good lad. We'll see you later. Right on. Thank you. So as the sun sets on our Bay Area auditions. Dummy joins 23 other dancers for the choreography round. Half step one and two and three, four. And after an hour of learning the steps, it's judgment time. Cue music.
love that number on her foot. <laughs> she, that was so... That, that was... <laughs> First one down. Come on, squiggly legs. <laughs> uh, you've got to learn to do more choreography, I think, get people to give you stuff to do. Yes. It just... It, you didn't get it. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. But thank you very much for sticking around. Thank you for All trying right, so Thank hard. you, guys, though. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. So there'll be no turfers joining us in Vegas this year. But for seven other dancers, there was a reason to celebrate. So you're coming to Vegas. <laughs> Next week, our auditions head to Salt Lake City and New York. It's our sixth trip to the Big Apple, and still we discover untapped talent. That's your ticket! Brooklyn brings its attitude, but so does Nigel. This is the worst in eight seasons that I think I have ever seen. I'm so in Utah, we find some of the most confident dancers yet. Can this small city deliver big talent? Break it down, now! They all say we have a twin in life. I think mine is Lady Gaga. Fire up your summer with a new season of MasterChef. Monday, June 6th. Your local news is next.